Hi there, welcome to week 11 of the high school football season. This is the Buzz Playoff Edition. We're excited, Dave. I mean, there's nothing better than playoff football, is there? There, there isn't really, seriously, no. And we'll start out with Friday night's game. It'll be Patrick Henry, and they'll be playing Northwood in the first round. On paper, total mismatch. It's gonna be a smackdown, just, just move on, forget it. Forget it? Yeah, it's a tax school. Ha, you know, okay. You know, Patrick Henry's been playing very well. You know, this one could get ugly, couldn't it? It, it could. Justin Binger's going to be back. I don't know why he, he suspended last week, but, you know, uh, it's week 10. Uh, at the beginning of the season, Bill Insman said this was the least experienced team he's had in 14 years. <laughs> His least experienced team went 10-0, and 0, was ranked number one in the state, and they're playing a pushover, so. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> they've really laid the smack down on some really good teams. They beat uh, Lipsick pretty bad. And they just crushed it, absolutely crushed an Eastwood. Pretty Eastwood. good Eastwood team that made the playoffs. Right. And uh, they beat Brian, they beat Wasion, they beat, uh, well, chalk them off. They beat everybody. And we'll talk about them more next week. Uh, Friday night, Ottawa Glendorf, your hometown Titans, traveling to Worcester Triway to take on another mm -hmm. Titan team. Uh, you know, it should be an interesting game. Uh, the WBL is a run conference, and Triway is a, like a Kenton type team. They've got th three times as much passing yards as rushing yards, so it should be a good challenge. Uh, yeah, but uh, Otto Glendorf's strength is it's secondary. The veterans they have back, they had very few on offense. Most of the veterans back are uh, in the secondary and linebackers. So I think, and Otto Glendorf is a very strong defensive team. I like Ottawa's odds in this game. Local tie into that game, uh, Triway is coached by. Triway is coached by uh, Tony Lee, uh, St. Wendland graduate. So, uh, you know, that's a little. Mike Lee coached at Woodmore and Fostoria. Right. Jeff Lee coached at uh, Oregon Clay, and uh, their uncle Gino was a longtime coach at St. Wilma. And that game's Saturday night at 7 o'clock, so, uh, you know, that should be a good one. Now we go to the Division VI games. We probably have the most interest in the area. Some great matchups. Some matchups you don't get to see very often. Uh, Ada will be uh, hosting Corey Rawson right. in a Region 22 game. Ada's coming off a huge win over LCC. That surprised me a little bit. I thought. I thought LCC was not only gunning for him, but was more than prepared for him. And Ada's got, uh, Fane is still out for Ada, but uh, uh, Heath Jackson took over and just did a phenomenal job. I got to see the replay of that, at least mm -hmm. the second half on TV. And they are, their offense gets so much credit, but you got to credit their defense too. They've got a lot of quickness. McBride, a, a defensive end for them, was just in the backfield all night long. They just have very good football players. Very quick and very strong. Corey Ross has played some really good defense this year, but this will be their biggest challenge of the year probably because I think Keith Jackson might be the most exciting offensive player in Division Six. I think he might be the most exciting player in about Divisions 3, 4, <laughs> and 5, and 6. Okay. Other games, uh, you know, Arlington travels to Delphus and takes on the defending state champ, Delphus St. John's. Tough game. I think Arlington's going to do better than people are, are, are saying. It, you know, you read some of the blogs and they are really making fun of Arlington's. And, they don't belong in this. Uh, the MAC is so strong, and you know, if I was from Arlington, I'd say, you know, bring it on. Let's let's prove it on the field. Don't prove it in in the blogs and stuff. Prove it on the field. And you know, I know that they were disappointed when I covered uh, Arlington. I think they lost to Macomb late in the year, but uh, looks like they've gotten things together, and uh, hopefully they can uh, give St. John's an excellent game. Well, Delphi St. John's is is a, an extraordinary team. Very, I think they're the best in Division Six in the state. But I think it's also a chance for Arlington to say, hey, we're here too. You know, we're, we're a decent football team, and we're going to prove it. Uh, you know, three other games in Division Six we have going on. We have Columbus Grove at Cary, another one of those games where, you know, these two teams don't play during the regular season. And, uh, you know, another interesting matchup. And two teams, uh, predominantly run teams. Both teams love to run the football. And I think they're just going to go out, and they're just going to butt heads, uh, play after play after play. This one's going to be down dirty in the trenches. Uh, you know, that game, uh, Carey coming off a big loss last week at home to Fremont St. Joe, 3 to nothing in overtime. Boy, those guys must be mad this week. I imagine uh, Coach Worst is really putting them through the paces. Well, look at it this way, too. Not so much in football, but I've really noticed in basketball, a loss doesn't hurt you that much. I think a loss can actually help you more than hurt you. It didn't affect Kerry as, as far as making the playoffs, still co-league champs, and now they've got something they didn't have going in, and that's incentive. Okay, uh, next game, uh, we got Hopewell Loudon. They're traveling all the way across the state to the Youngstown area, and they'll be taking on McDonald. And, uh, 
You know, I don't know much about McDonald, but traditionally when Hope Oladen's taken on teams from that part of the state, they've whacked them. But this is a little bit of a different Hope Oladen team this year. Well, it is. I mean, in the past, Hope Oladen was going in as maybe a number one or two seed. Now they're the eighth seed. And uh, the Golden Archers over there, I know nothing about them. <laughs> um, but when it comes to the football playoffs, give me a Northwest Ohio team over the rest of the state just about any day. I think the strongest uh, D6 football is in Northwest Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, well, and the other game we have going on is uh, Lipsick and Fremont St. Joe, another two teams, one from the BBC, one from the MAL, right. that typically don't meet. Uh, and th that's what's great about the Region 22 playoffs. It's a, it's a mishmash of different leagues going head-to-head, -head. different styles, like you said, teams that don't see each other unless they're in the playoffs. Um, Fremont, I think, is more of a passing team. Mm -hmm. uh, Lipsick can do a lot of both. Uh, I think it's a huge advantage that Lipsick has it on its home field. And I like Lipsick's odds to get uh, past the first round, maybe even the second. Yeah, I like Lipsick too. They're playing some really good football right now. And, uh, you know, we'll see how this all shakes out Friday and Saturday. So pick up a copy of The Courier this week. And, uh, you know, we'll have all the action. And, of course, check with The Courier online at thecourier.com and at the Blanchard River Buzz. So we'll see you in week 12. 12.